Hello, hello. Hi, hi. Oh, hi, Pachawi. You tried to throw something at me. Well, this thing was still off. It's okay. Is it not queued? Oh, no, it auto, auto clears the queue. Hey, Genroku. Hi, Sarkham Knight. What are you doing giving people things constantly? What's wrong with you? Yes, we're doing East 9. I put it off for long enough. Between Resident Evil 4 Remake and Blossomus, we're now doing the last East game that I haven't done. So, uh, here's hoping it uh, goes well. <sighs> so, yeah. If you can tell by the title, you probably know what difficulty I'm going to play on. But, yeah. This is East Nime. Monstrum Nox. I believe this one takes place the latest in the East timeline. With the oldest version of Adol and Dogi. I think the music is still just a tiny bit loud. I'm just gonna play with that really quick. I spent some time yesterday trying to make sure that, uh... All the visual settings were... Set up correctly so the game should run well. I shouldn't lose any frames. None of that garbage. So here's hoping. I have heard, by the way... That Lunatic is harder than Inferno and East 8 at the beginning. But then, by the end, it's easier. I don't know if I believe that, but that's what I've heard. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, let me make sure I know what the language is. I, th I think. I don't think there's anything. Is there anything you have to set? I think it's all just English and just English voice acting. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, are my button config stay? Yes. Yes. All my button config stayed the same. Good. Good! Good. Sorry. Had to double check just in case. Alright! I'm about to hate myself for the next... 30 hours. If getting killed by, like, the first couple enemies wasn't the, uh... Wasn't the worst thing. Uh... Automatically correct vertical camera rotation during movement. We'll leave that on for now. I am not going to enable assist mode. Okay. Oh, yeah. Where, where's my... Where's my E-Saint save game stuff? Good. You've made it out. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine here. I've grown rather accustomed to these walls. Hurry now. You must leave the prison before the guards catch wind of your escape. I hope that one day we'll meet again. Now go. Oh, well, this is beginning very, very uh, enthusiastically. Distant bells ring throughout the night. You must have learned of your escape. You must hurry. Hmm. Oh, look at all these DLC items. That I really probably don't need, but I have them. Do you not get something for e -Saint? I'm a little curious why I didn't get anything. But maybe what you happened? get it later. No reports received so far. Did a prisoner break out? So jump. Uh, 
That's Dash. Report! Report! What is it? There's been an escape from the East Wing cell block. Hi, dudes. We're verifying the inmate number now. Stand by for a follow-up report. How the hell? Seal all passages leading to and from the East Wing. Quickly! Yes, sir. Nope. I only have 119 health. That's not much health in an East game, in a modern East game. I feel like that's nothing. Should be able to go down from here. Let's go. There seems to be some sort of underground warehouse. There must be a way to escape through here. Oh, I can save now. Hmm. I think I got gypped of my East Aid item, though. Adol does look older in this. I'll take the plus 200 HP though, because, uh, yeah. Okay. Danger! Restricted area! Prison guard and staff prohibited from entering by order of the Hieroglyph Knights. Well, I don't got a choice, so, uh. Off about the beast wandering this underground path. What? Just what are they? The grotesque horns make them look closer to monsters than anything else. Yeah, I think so. Let's not. I just flash guard. Okay. Awesome. It seems I've arrived too late. Lady? You know, asking who someone is never works in these games. So instead... What's with your arm and leg? Is it every day you're this unabashedly brazen? And we have only just met. I'm just curious. No matter. Despite who you are, your role here is crucial. Oh, bad end. <sighs> what have you done to me? <clears throat> Feels as though a steel rod has pierced you. The excruciating pain surges through your body. Impressive. You've assimilated with the curse without so much as a squeal. Your new form Me deserves a proper name. How about the Crimson King? Uh, did you say curse? I did. Now you must calm yourself and fully embrace it. Do you understand your gift? There is no. no going back now, I'm afraid. The wheels of fate are already turning. Use your power to escape this place. We will meet again, in time. Owen, my name is Aprilis. Keep looking, damn it! Aprilis, you what? say? They told us we're not supposed to be down here! Who cares? We have to find the prisoner! So, I'm a vampire now. I'm just saying. 
Yeah, yeah, I got to flee quickly. Yeah. That's kind of cool, though. Your sword seems to have changed shape to suit your appearance. And now the gothic sword. Mysterious power surges through your body. Because you're a vampire. You cannot tell me that this is not vampire mode fatal. anything? No. A treasure chest. Reasons. Well, because we're playing this on Lunatic, I am going to refuse to use healing items in combat. I feel like we need to keep with the East 3 theming of how we're handling things. Where Inferno mode in that game was, you don't get to, you know, heal. So just like East 8, we're not going to use healing items in combat. We will refuse. This music's pretty good, though. Like he gets a double double jump by default in this game. Oh, that's nice. I don't have to learn double jump this time. And all its stone disc with a seal carved into it sits on the ground. A soothing energy energy emanates at your feet. Your voice is coming from that way. Let's not go that way. That's terrible. Okay. Adol Kristen, gift crimson line. Name the Crimson King. First boss? Yes. I'm gonna flash guard you. I refuse. I refuse to, uh... Oh! OP. 
As always. Don't mind me. I got hit once. I should have gotten hit zero times there. Oh well. What you gonna do? Your body is still adapting to your new power. An overwhelming feeling of fatigue envelops you. There he is! Is that really inmate 217? He, he looks just like... Silence! I want that rogue in irons! Nah. Oh, so they can just like every other East game. It's unlikely that he'll make it out of these catacombs in one piece. Instead the of falling off a ship. To the city. Send a search party as a precaution. I fell straight into the water of an aqueduct. Have you Same ever thing, had really. Where you weren't you? You were someone else? When I have a dream like that, it makes me wonder. Am I really me? Perhaps such a dream is my reality, and my reality is the dream. I discovered the answer during my adventures in Balduk, and the answer was astoundingly simple. They are both equal truths. What is real is defined by what is not. Who one is is defined by who one isn't. One must accept these truths if they wish to live and learn, and grow. It was in this prison, this cradle, where my dreams and my reality became intertwined. Adol Kristen. An excerpt from Balduk Prison. Okay then. Adol the Fugitive. The Monstrums of Balduk. Ten days prior. We finally made it to Balduk, the prison city. Word is, it's home to the biggest slammer in the Roman territories. Even from out here, I can tell the city's huge. Look, Adol. There's a security checkpoint at the gates. Must be because of the prison. Hmm. I may have left my life of crime, but getting the old shakedown still puts me on edge. Anyway, it'd be nice to catch some shut-eye in an actual bed for once. They say the garrison runs a tight ship throughout the city. What with the prison and all. Well, let's go see what's going on. I'm already gonna tell you that's a terribly bad idea. Just, just go, go around. How long is this going to take? Looks like everyone's waiting to get through the security checkpoint. Call me paranoid, but something about this seems excessive, even for a prison city. Maybe someone up at the front gate can tell us what's going on. Oh, I'm You're pretty old, I was hoping to unwind at the end tonight. How old are we all at this point? Wow, so this is Balduk. Trappers are just as magnif magnificent as they say. Wonder if I can get a little look-see at the prison while I'm in town. I don't think you want to get a look-see at the prison. You came here all the way from Rom. It's been eight years since Gilea Gilea joined the Empire, so I figured things had cooled off. And yet here we are. <sighs> now what do I do? I traveled to the sea because I heard it was the largest in Gilea. And now I hear some dangerous flood has gotten the city up all up in arms. Is that true? With the Roman army right there. Just what could be going on? Craziness. Can I literally? <laughs> I was like, is the game gonna let me run? Out there? I'm pretty good. I came all the way from Salcina to promote my goods around here. But man, this trip is, has me exhausted. Even it wasn't all that far. Can they just hurry up and let me in already? Hey, did you hear? You mean about the Governor General? Yeah, apparently it was the Monstrums. Huh. 
Who are you? You travelers? If you want to get into Balduke, we'll need to inspect your things. Security looks tight here. Did something happen? Huh. Guess you could say that. Some hoodlums calling themselves Monstrums have been plaguing Balduke. Monstrums? A certain dignitary has uh, recently gone missing. There's no doubt they're behind this. Those damn pests. Blast it all. I've only just been transferred here, too. Well, not sure if I'd follow, but it seems like a pretty big deal. Warden Belker. What? Are you sure? All right. Detain him. <laughs> okay, now that doesn't look like a warm welcome to me. You, with the red hair, you're the adventurer, Adol Kristen, are you not? Hey. How do you know my name? We've just received a warrant for your arrest from the capital. Huh? A warrant? For Adol? What for? Nothing comes to mind immediately. And he says it with a straight face. You can't fool me. Mm -hmm. You returned from the cursed Isle of Saren. You were involved with the Atlas Ocean incident. Uh huh. And most recently, you were seen in Altago in the aftermath of the ceasefire. Yep. You are being arrested on the grounds of your suspicious involvement in these events. That's not a really good reason. Look at that. We're bona fide celebrities. It'll be easier on all of us if you come quietly with me to the prison. Warden Belger. Oh, Chatelard. You caught me at a bad time. It's just in the middle of an arrest. If it was this man here, allow me to take him in myself. Oh? But weren't you on patrol? Yes. However, we've just received word that Monstrums were sighted in the main square. Monstrums, you say? Those must be the guys he was talking about earlier. That's right. I was to report any Monstrum activity directly to you. You should have just said so from the start. My apologies. Shall I take it from here? Of course. I know you'll keep a close eye on him. I leave him to you, Chatelard. Troops, fall in! The primary garrison will shift their priorities to capturing the Monstrums. Today will be the day those pests will finally go where they belong. Baldu Prison! The one who captures them will receive a sizable bonus. Yes, sir! I'm gonna do my job for me here. I don't have to do much of anything now except for then, dance. Mr. Adel Kristen. Uh, who are um, you? I am Shadowlord. Master and Commander of the Glean Hieroglyph Knights. Mm -hmm. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. Mm -hmm. Hieroglyph Knights? So, you must be part of the Hieroglyph Church. Why are you working with the Roman Empire? We operate in tandem for the sake of maintaining the order here in Balduk. Warden Belger is the one in charge of the garrison here. As his title suggests, he is also the Warden of Balduk Prison. He will be the one to decide your fate. You will cooperate, one way or another. Battle! He's so fast. You are Dogi the Wall Crusher, are you not? I give you 30 points. You fail. What are you on about? Unlike Adol, you aren't wanted yet by the Roman Empire. And now, I can see why. You should be grateful I'm not taking you in, too. You son of a... It's okay, Doki. Don't worry about it. <laughs> about it. At all. <laughs> all right. Hmm. I'll get out of this one way or the other. I'm beating gods, demon lords, other monsters. 
Ernst, who would throw this guy for a loop. Don't worry about it. Am I inside the prison? So, you're finally awake, 217. 217A? Um, right. Inmates don't go by their names here. Instead, they're given numbers. Yours is 217. Huh. You better get used to it. <laughs> don't get too excited. You've just woken up in time for dinner. Come on, let's go. And no funny business, all right? Sure. Why not? Balduke Prison used to be a fortress. That's why it's got a complex layout. It's not just a soldier stationed here, but also the Roman army and the Hieroglyph Knights. Uh -huh. You might as well give up any hope of escaping. Why the Hieroglyph Knights? I don't have any obligation to tell you that. Okay, jackass. Listen, there are other inmates here, but speaking to each other is forbidden. Okay. Each of you have assigned seats. Yours is over there. Uh huh. Please, I, I beg you. Shut it and give me the food. I ain't about to go slave away in the mines on an empty stomach. Come on, help a guy out, will you? Th that gives me just as much reason to eat as you. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. Ah. Why, you slippery little... <sighs> Up my cup. Oh, watch it. Hey, what's going on here? Inmates 163 and 212. You two again? Uh, I'm sorry. Relax, gentlemen. We were just having a little chat. Huh? 163, where's your fork? My what? Your fork. Where is it? God help you if I find out you're stealing cutlery. The hell are you talking about? It's here on the table. Um, well, well I, was, I swear it was just here. Where'd it go? Sure it was. All right, come on, 163. Time for a body search. No. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't eaten anything yet. Ugh. You little shit. This was your doing, wasn't it? I do not speak. We're not supposed to talk here. Giving me the silent treatment, are you? Mark my words. I won't forget this. Sure. As I mentioned earlier, this prison used to be a fortress. Even the knights and us guards aren't familiar with some of the older underground sectors. Forget about being found if you get lost. May as well call it your tomb. Anyway, it hasn't even been a day, and you're already rocking the boat, 217. I'd recommend not making an enemy out of 163. <sighs> I heard you were going to be trouble, but still... Hmm... Couldn't just leave him. Take it from me. Nothing good will come out of being the hero. Just don't cause any more trouble, at least during my shift, all right? And especially not with her. Pardon me, ma'am. I've brought the inmate you requested. You're late. 
preposterously late. What are you waiting for? Get in here! You will do as you are instructed. You're going to be asked some questions. Uh huh? I hope your answers are adequate for your sake. Uh huh? State your inmate ID. Sure. Um. So, you're the one I've been hearing so much about. <laughs> I didn't think you would be so flimsy looking. From one who calls himself an adventurer, I was expecting someone more robust. I get that a lot. My friend meets that description. You will speak only when I ask you a question. Nah. For the past seven years, you have been engaging in adventures. You seem to have a habit of getting involved in remarkable phenomena. These events have been withheld from the public, but delusions can only explain so much. Magic, the Eldeen, alchemy, primordials. Preposterous, indeed. If you ask me, I'd say the rumors about you are quite inflated. Now, you will answer my questions truthfully and without reluctance. Do you understand? Sure. <laughs> Good. There's nothing more preposterous than wasted words and time. First question, inmate 217. It seems that shipwrecks are a common occurrence for you. Mm -hmm. Even sailors and fishermen don't experience a fraction of the accidents you've been in. Some claim you instigated these incidents. What do you say to those accusations? Mm. I'm really not doing it on purpose. <laughs> Fortunately for you, no clear motives have been discerned given the circumstances. However, I won't dismiss the possibility that you are conspiring with crew members. You've What's even have to do with anything? legendary weapons and artifacts. But somehow you always lose them afterward. Another fraudulent scheme, perhaps? No. Your antics are a detriment to the national interests of our Roman territories. Hmm? She continued to interrogate you like this for several more hours. When you were finally released, it was already well into the night. After eating the cafeteria alone, you return to solitary confinement in your cell. You should just go through the throw the lady into the middle of Darm Tower. There appears to be something in your clothes. You're right both through them to check. Hmm. This looks like inmate 163's missing pork. It must have ended up in your clothes at some point during the altercation. It'll be trouble if someone spots it. We should find a place to hide it. Which also will mean we can, you know... The fork should be hidden enough tucked behind the bed. Yeah. What's the door look like? Seems to be a pretty complex lock, despite its apparent age. You should be able to open up with a tool. You can't break out without a plan first. This is you. Come on, in you go. I'll check on you later. Hmm? It seems I have a neighbor. That you do. Nice to meet you, neighbor. <laughs> it's a shame I can't shake your hand. Could you come a little bit closer to the wall? <laughs> Wouldn't want the guards hearing us speaking to each other now, would we? No. That's much better. Listlessness nearly got the better of me after not having someone to talk with for so long. You don't mind, do you? Nah. Not at all. I was bored myself. <laughs> I figured as much. Seeing as you appear to be keeping yourself busy in there. Please excuse my curiosity. Anyway, my crime was 
Well, I suppose you could call it fraud. How about you? Apparently, I'm a habitual liar. <laughs> a veritable criminal is amongst us. Hmm, I believe I understand now. Are you here on false charges? In the past, the names and crimes of prisoners were publicly posted. But about five years ago, those postings were suddenly discontinued. Possibly because there's so many of us now. But something tells me there's more to it. Wait. Quiet. They're containing people they shouldn't be. I must have lost track of time. It seems they're doing their rounds now. Mm -hmm. The guards patrol on a strict schedule. Don't do anything that'll get you caught during patrol hours. Mm, now then, mornings come early here. <laughs> Best that you get some rest. Sleepy sleep time. You were interrogated for several more days. It began the moment the sun rose with no rest till the sun had long set. They continued like this day after day. That's all I need to hear about the Canaan Islands. The ancient mm -hmm. machine that controls the weather. The Ark of Napishtim. I find mm -hmm. it difficult to believe that a thing out of a children's fairy tale actually exists. But your testimony doesn't conflict with any of the Navy's reports so far. Maybe it's because I'm not lying. Yeah. Though I find it difficult to believe, the reports do not lie. And I admit you have been cooperative these past few days. Is that what you hoped I would say? Lies or truth, there's no doubt your so-called adventures have major repercussions. Uh -huh. And you're still suspected of being a spy in the Imperial territories. Mm-hmm. And how would I prove my innocence? That's not my problem. Anyone would have a hard time believing these stories. I don't even know why I'm the one who has to do this. Because you're dumb. Guard. Yes, ma'am. Not very good at your job. I have to the nine. Empire to be tried for his other crimes. Take him and go. What other crimes are these, by chance? Given you haven't asked me of any crimes off. yet. Just like that? What do you think I should do? I figured you'd already know. There's a rumor about this place. At the end of that corridor, there's a sector where even guards are forbidden. Supposedly, there's a hidden passage there, built when the prison was still a fortress. An emergency escape route, I imagine. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. It's possible it leads out of the prison, but it's a labyrinth down there. There are also rumors of strange creatures prowling the tunnels. This isn't the typical prison, is it? Not in the slightest. Rumors like this are the tip of the iceberg. We've only just met, but I already know you're not one to accept fate lying down. I'm sure you'd have gone anyway, with or without my help. After all, you already possess something to pick the lock with, don't you? And how do you know that? <laughs> I have my ways. I should have decided the Miranda rights. <laughs> I don't think they care about Miranda rights here. And they definitely don't have a presumption of innocence under any... Any concept of the, uh... Any, under any notion of the law. Uh -huh. You press a single prong of the fork against the floor until it bent. You shaped it into a lockpick to unlock the cell. A trick you learned from Dogi. Okay. 
Here we go. Good. You've made it out. That was a pretty neat trick with a fork. Haha! <laughs> you pulled a fast one on me. That was not my intention, I assure you. But I appreciate what you did in the mess hall. You could come with me. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but I'd only just slow you down. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine here. I've grown rather accustomed to these walls. Hurry now. You must leave the prison before the guards catch wind of your escape. I hope that one day we'll meet again. Hmm. Water. Because we fell in water. Again. Because Ada always falls in water. 212 is a bro. Much bro. Where's my vampire outfit? Gosh darn it. You're back to normal again. Mysterious power from the curse seems to have disappeared. He's not here. Oops. Let's not get caught. Sweep the area near the canal again. He can't have gotten far. Can we be certain he's here? He couldn't have made it through the aqueduct. It's a direct order from Master Shadowlord himself. We're to take extra precautions with this one. Mm -hmm. So keep it to yourself and resume your search before I have you locked up too. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. It's too risky to linger. Need to find somewhere to hide. I know. Let's become a nun. All the ladies like Adol anyway. It's fine. How are the security fortifications in the agricultural district and the main gates? They're in place, sir. Good. Not a single rat gets through. Understood? Yes, yes sir. Phew. Another long day of work. I'd best retire for today. Oh, you there? You're sopping wet. Gives new, new meaning to the, to drinking the river dry. Jokes aside, it's no place to be drunk. Do be careful, lest you catch a cold. Uh -huh. What? What are the dots for? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm top of the moons. Let's say we head out to the night market for another pint or two. <laughs> a toast of all could toast to say drop, drop, cook. Oh, forget it. Mm. It's gone so late already. Better head back before long. Come to think of it, there's to be a lot of hieroglyph knights out right now. I wonder what could have happened. What could have happened indeed? Run, boy, run! <laughs> Look at that walking animation! He's doing the moon. But what is it, the uh... He's moonwalking. He just needs to go backwards. We're in a random house. Nobody will find us in here, probably. These stairs must lead to the basement. Could lay low there for a while. Go down and hide. Yes. 
Oh. Nothing, sir. We've already searched the entire area. What's this building? It's just an old inn. It was closed about a year ago. We searched it and didn't find anyone. All right. Move out and continue the search. Yes, sir. Like how we just have darkness on Adol's face. Your footsteps fade into the distance. Your fatigue catches up to you as you feel your consciousness drifting away. I know, Adol's is pretty weird too. Especially when you're walking slow. Your pursuers might have given up. I want to see what's going on outside, but someone may recognize you. Mm. What do we do? What do we do? Did somebody leave some clothes in here? Maybe a wig. Maybe a fancy dress. Red scarf and black hair dye. A c c c acquired. Look how slowly he was doing those letters. <laughs> well, now I have black hair. Blue hair. You should suffice for a disguise. Now you can leave undetected. Oh, do I have all the DLC items now? I didn't get anything for you, Saint, though. I'm doing everything. Because why not? Acquire all the things. We're doing it. Oh my god, there's so much garbage. Why can't you just get everything? Let's unlock everything at once. I'm gonna get the the one elixirs out. The Tempest elixirs. I'm not going to use them. Unless I get people that are really, really far behind. Oh, look at all those accessories. Good. This is just stupid. It's totally like, why? Just let me auto get everything. So, I am going to equip other accessories. And the main reason why I'm going to is because I'm playing on lunatic mode. And I'm kind of like, okay. As much as you know, I like playing on a really hard difficulty. I know I die in about two hits. So having a little bit more buffer. Because you're supposed to play lunatic mode on... Um... Oh. Oh, that's silly. Why? Okay. I'll worry about that later. You're supposed to play lunatic mode on New Game Plus. You're not supposed to play it immediately. I am going to give myself a little bit more HP, just so I don't die in one hit to every single thing we fight. I have no qualms doing that. That lady looked nice, though. Very fancy. There seems to be no more pursuers in sight. You should take a look around and search for your companion, Dogie. Better hope that he's somewhere. There's an item. A chest. Not in there. Probably up there, if I have to guess. The knights were up in arms more than usual today. And the monster show up again. Last I heard, some guy broke himself out of the prison. That's all anyone's been talking about. Make sure you stay safe out there, okay, Gramps? Some dude broke out of the prison. Front gates aren't heavy watch. Don't go that way. What is this over here? Throw those monsters into the clink. They deserve it for disturbing the peace. <laughs> okay, so there's an item over there, but we can't get it because of that. 
you're like a really giant. I'm sitting here like, how, how far across do you think this is? This is maybe what, like... Probably like 40 steps. We assume the Adel has a two foot stride. So maybe 80, 100 feet across. Easy. That's a lot of space where nothing is happening. <laughs> okay, what's going on with you guys? Being a custodian, Baldock, is no small undertaking. Since I love this town, I have no qualms about it. I only hope the travelers like yourself look upon this city with untainted admiration. I mean, it is a giant prison, dude. Oh, so this is it. Baldock, the prison city. Thanks again for escorting me here, Mr. Hunter. Don't mention it, but... You really should try to be more careful. You said you're a merchant from the country, right? How in the hell did you end up lost in the forest for three days with a map on you? Well, you see, I've got myself a pretty good intuition up in this no old noggin. I'm the type of girl that follows things like maps and paths. What a weirdo. Forget maps, I can't read her one bit. Master Stellar's Glia's pride and joy above everyone else. Honor be to the Hieroglyph Knights. Oh, really? New graffiti discovered. My grandma here has a bad back, so I'm coming along with her today. I'll we'll have to ask Dr. Eric to brew some more medicine, too. Dr. Eric always makes sure to give my care his fullest attention. I just hope he's ready to hear another spiel about my poor back. I am sure he is. There's an item somewhere. Probably down there. Hmm. Came all the way over to Baldur to sell the crafted trinkets from my hometown. Now that I play some trails, it's time to, for me to make some sales. Whoa! I'm doing all right. It's been a very busy day. How are you doing, F9? So small feet for somewhere up the monster's powers. Ha! I wish the Romans are feeling pretty hot under the collar by now. And this red criminal is on the loose. He will be a vicious murderer. How frightening. Perhaps he has to do with the Cardinal and Hive's disappearance. See, it was the monsters who abducted the cardinal, though. And again, just quickly believe the Romans fabricated that rumor themselves. People blame the monsters for just about every silly mishap these days. Speaking of monsters, did anyone show up in the main square yesterday? Sure did. It was the white cat. I saw it with my own two eyes. It did? Wow, I wouldn't... Why, well, I wouldn't give the kid a glimpse of her. Ooh. Cold. I'm just imagining being in the cold water. Well, it sounds terrible. Mind your surroundings, Crimson King. This place Hi, has Apelous. become the cursed land. The Grimwald Knox. Huh? Grimwald Nux, you say? It is a realm where the line between the worlds of human and monster becomes obscured. For you, it is the front line of battle. Huh. Come forth, my monstrums, and consume this dark night! White Cat, reporting in. Hawk, present. This had better not be another waste of time. Doll here. Good day. Raging Bull, I'm raring to go. Renegade. Let's get on with it already. Monstrums, meet the Crimson King. Now there are six of you. We have a new recruit. I guess we needed the extra help. 
<laughs> My condolences, pal. <laughs> That's a funny name you've got there, Crimson King. Raging Bull is also peculiar. Uh, what are we getting on with? You all have gifts, each one unique. You use them to exercise monsters here. If you fail to do so, you will be trapped here forever. And if you should die in this realm, your souls will wander it for the rest of eternity. That Great. is the curse which all of you monstrums must bear. You'll obey me here on, or you'll regret it. There she goes again, sounding just as unreasonable as ever. That demented bitch. One day I'm gonna kill her. I don't like it any more than you guys. But this is the only way we can get back to our own lives. The clock is ticking. Now then, shall we begin? That's a good question. Why are Android 18 and 17 in this game? Monster. You needed better vocal mixing there. Anyhow. Are we in Castlevania now? Caronian Valley. I feel like I'm in Castlevania. So, uh, that's one not feeling crystal. You seem rather at ease, given the circumstances. How intriguing. This is the Sphine. Plays a key role in dispelling the Nox. But pay it no mind for now, Crimson King. Go. Harness your power as you see fit. Enough with the pop. Just tell him to slaughter whatever comes our way. <clears throat> All we have to do is buy you enough time like always, right? That is correct. Focus your efforts on expelling the foes before you. Got it. Not a probably end up going after us. They'll probably end up going after us anyway. Anyhow. The enemy fast approaches. Let us move. Is this... Is this, uh... Is this Star Ocean now? one too just like in freaky easy okay so they are hurting that bad i thought they would hurt a lot worse given that i'm playing on lunatic but maybe it's because i'm using the soft seated item i got as a bonus Oh, this still hurt pretty bad. Slay the Lord of the Night.
Oh my god, just die. Okay. So we have a base defense minigame we're going to have to do. <laughs> Impressive. A favorable outcome. You have my thanks. Good. It seems the Grimwald Knox has lifted. You have much potential, Crimson King. Your power will be useful in banishing the darkness in the days to come. So, why are we doing what? this? Any good idea? If you seek the truth about the curse. First, unveil the mystery of Balduk Prison, Crimson King. As long as I have my scarf and black hair when we get back. Oh, apparently not. We've returned to the city. Typical. Leave it to her to scurry off as soon as her dirty work's done. <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna go home. I'll be leaving too. Oh! Um... I'm guessing this is a regular thing for you all. Um... <laughs> you got that right, new kid. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, but you're out of luck. We don't have the answers you're looking for. We still don't know why we're even fighting. Nor what those monsters are. Nor why the Grimwald Knox comes. Yeah, and what's with those magic bullets? She used them to turn us into these things. Someone's desperate for friends. And we can't leave the city either. You can thank the curse for that. When she calls, we fight. We're nothing more than puppets. I'd rather be monster chow than be stuck another month in this dump. Yeah, I love this city, but there's only so much to do around here. Hey, look, they're on the roof! Jesus Christ, Mar, is that a monster? Oh, God. Shit, it's rude to point. Wait a second. Are those all of the monstrums? Yeah, but I count six of them. Is the red one a monstrum, too? Oops, we've been made. <laughs> the new kid's outfit sticks out like a clown at a funeral. We should disperse before someone calls the Roman soldiers or the knights. Very well. I shall take my leave then. Okay, I'll go too. Bye, guys! Hmm. Adel! Hey, boy! <laughs> I've been looking all over for you after I heard you escaped from the prison. Am I glad I found you before the soldiers did? A lot has happened. <laughs> I bet. You can tell me about it later. Huh? You look... Ah, never mind. Just imagining things, I guess. Anyway, now that you're a fugitive, you really shouldn't be out here. Did you find him? No, we've looked everywhere, sir. <sighs> we can't let all six of them get away. Call for reinforcements. I want at least one of them in custody. Thanks to those monstrums, soldiers will be everywhere. We better find somewhere to lay low for now. Which voice actor? Dogies? Is that 
tell you to the abandoned building where you had been hiding. You explain what happened at the prison. Whoa, that's a lot to take in. So that makes you one of those monstrums? I guess. Prison with monsters in the basement. A mystery woman with false limbs. And a curse that won't let you leave the city. Can't say I understand it all. Except the part about being stuck here for a while. Blue-haired body builder. <laughs> yes, his name is Dogi. <sighs> I'm sorry this keeps happening to us. <laughs> Ain't much of an apology coming out of a wily smile like that. You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> you goofball. Anyway, before we can do anything else, we're gonna need a hideout. Basement of this abandoned building, I had. A hidden entrance like that would make coming and leaving a lot more discreet. We can fix it up enough to sleep here. Then we can talk about a plan. Good idea, Dogi. Yes. Yeah. Hmm, you got it. Just leave it to me. With that, the mis mysteries of Balduk beckon anew. Beckon a new unexpected adventure. A Prilis who cast a curse upon you, and the monstrums who share your gift. Each peculiar event unfolds one after another in this town known as the Prison City. After you finally settled down to sleep, you reflect upon the events of the past few days. Before long, you fell fast asleep. Chapter 1. The Monstrums of Balduk. End. Now this is a hideout fit for a monstrum. Ain't much to look at now. We'll spruce her up like new. Gotta get her up and running so you can get to breaking that curse. Until then, you're stuck killing monsters for who knows how long. The way I see it, the other monsters are more keen on keeping to themselves. One of them steals on a horrible high ground. Or a my ah, ah. One of them steals on a moral high ground. Ah. And one thinks the city's something blah blah blah. Maybe they've given up on breaking the curse. You saying they've already tried? Maybe we'd learn a thing or two by asking them. Something else has been on my mind. Is it the Hieroglyph Knights? Them too, but don't you think something's fishy about that prison? Prilis herself said there was a mystery to be solved in there. And what's the deal with that prisoner in the cell next to you? Not to mention that creepy maze of basement crawling Maze of a basement crawling with monsters. <clears throat> you ever heard of any prison like that? Well the thing I think of is it's not just a prison. Or that it wasn't always one. I can agree with that. It is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> You're not thinking about going back in there after just escaping by the skin of your teeth, are ya? No two ways about it, Adol. Looks like our next adventure is already underway. Haha, <laughs> yes, I suppose it is. <laughs> You've never been in a situation quite like this. Things are getting interesting, huh? If you're really planning on looking into the prison, there's something you need to know first. I heard a rumor that the prison's got a frequent visitor who knows a lot about it. Works for a local big shot establishment called the Pendleton Company. Then we should speak with them. Yeah, those business types tend to be difficult. You don't know until you try. You can find Pendleton in the central district north of the main gates. One more thing, Adol. On the off chance that Prilis was bluffing about that curse, we'll hurt to see for yourself whether you can leave the city or not. Okay. You know the plan. Just keep your head down out there. <clears throat> the white cat's melancholy. Okay. <laughs> you sound like yourself. Jeez, thanks. Okay. Where we at? Okay. What we're looking at? Nothing new in here. Hmm. Well, we'd better dig in if we're going to be stuck here for a while. I'll get the essentials. I'll leave the information gathered to you, Adel. 
The Pendleton Company is in the northern part of the Central District. Just keep your head down. Oh, we'll hurt to see what happens if we try leaving town. Just so we're sure. Yeah, we leave town, we're gonna get like, boom! In the face or something. Not quite sure. We'll figure it out when it happens, though. Can you do anything in here, Dogi? Anything magical? No. <laughs> no, I'm not mad. You're fine. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> the prison city of Baldock seems to be much larger than you expected. And that might prove useful for navigating the city. Do I have a map? Already? Or am I making one as I go along? But first... You should head to the main gate to confirm whether or not you can leave. Uh huh. There's a thing over here. As the sylvan bird retires to its nest, the fieldborn flowers retreat into slumber. Good night, my darling babe. Swallowed in gleam of the stars above. May your dreams be ever sweet. I found some new graffiti. So, so apparently finding graffiti is a thing that we do. Hey! Uh, fresh face from out of town, I take it. This here's the Baldic Visitor's Kiosk. Can interest you in a tour of the city. Any spots for the next in prison tour? Haha, <laughs> you're a real jokester, you know that. Maybe the prison city. It doesn't make the place an attraction or anything. Still, there's something different about you, I can tell. You just might be the right guy for the job, in fact. See, for Visitor's Kiosk, the info we have to offer has gotten a little outdated. All of us employees, employees are locals, so we're kind of lacking an outsider's perspective. We'd like to pinpoint exactly what makes Baldic appealing to travelers. Like you. What I'm getting at is, if you happen at any landmarks that really just speak to you, I'd appreciate it if you come and speak and speak them right back over to me. Huh, oh, sounds pretty interesting. Glad to hear you're so eager about it. I won't force you or anything. You'd be helping us out a great deal. we will be walking away from this empty handed, of course. We'd offer you a reward for every oh well, let's say three mad landmarks you discover. Great. I'm a landmark boy now. <laughs> It's a monstrum. It's the hawk. He's causing trouble in the main square. What? A monstrum? Remember right. He wouldn't despise the hawk the most. I'd rather not get in his way. He's psychotic. Don't be a coward. You've got a job to do. Security at the front gate seems to have lessened. Let's go see what happens when I run up to it. Ha <laughs> Yeah. Magical barrier spontaneously appears, pushing you back with a powerful force. The curse must be preventing you from leaving the city. <laughs> Ouch! Hi, girl with hat. Uh, I am so, so sorry. Are you okay? I mean, I didn't hurt you, did I? You seem distracted. You okay? Yes, I was. I'm really sorry about that. I've been having a hard time at work. Mm. Oh no! Sorry! I didn't mean to trouble you. Already working at your age. It, yes. It's my family's business, so I have to. But I have to be going now. Sorry again. She is adorable. So adorable. You decide to head for the Pendleton Company in the Central District. You can reach the Central District by heading north from here. Great, thanks game. This is the same, right? Yep. We can't get by them. Come to think 
think of it. Seems the White Cat is still up to her thieving antics. As for the Hawk, he scours the streets for people to fight. Distressing rumors indeed. What's more, they say the monsters perpetrate these crimes using supernatural powers. Oh. They be magical. What is this? Welcome. Are you looking for something? Uh huh. Oh, maybe next time. Our store deals in local, traditional, self-sustainable, handcrafted glee and trinkets. Even the Pindleson Company buys from us. A testament to our quality and selection. Don't believe me? Pick one up and see for yourself. Come again, okay? Well. I don't need 800 extra HP, I don't think. I think I'm going to go with... Death. I like death. Killing things is good. Damn it, game! Well... Now listen carefully. You need to take two days of rest. Don't forget to take your medicine exactly how I told you. I will. Thanks, Dr. Eric. Okay. The Central District. Healing. I see something up there and I want it. I want it. Welcome. I carry only the best. Guaranteed. There's a missing item in your ingredient list. Just letting you know. Oh no, it's not a missing item. It's a separation with the use. I didn't see Is that at all. I'm a direct distributor for any produce grown in the agricultural district. Everything's up for sale has our guaranteed stamp of approval. Try them out for yourself. Come back soon. There's one... There's one try out. Um... What do you call it? Produce. I'm pretty sure one eats produce. Hmm. I'm going to guess that's down there, wherever that is. What do you want? Let's cut a deal. I see. You must know who I am. There's something about you that you're trying to hide. A determination. Very well. I'll open my wares to you. My name's Maxim. Hey, Maxim. I deal in black market commodities you can't find anywhere else. What you do with the things you buy from me is none of my business. And what I do with the things I buy from you is none of yours. Fail to keep our business discreet, and we'll never do business again. Sounds good to me. What do you carry, bro? It's you. You buying or not? I see. You buying or not? Interesting. I see. Let me remind you that I only do business with people who can keep a secret. You be careful. You saw nothing. I saw nothing. I know nothing. What do you want to bet the adorable little girl is going to be the cat lady? Hey there, take a look around. I recommend everything. Oh. Just browsing, then? Well, hello there, handsome. You look like you could use a good drink. We've got plenty here at the pub. How about stepping in for a glass? Hope to see you again soon. You won't let me in. Such a big city! No open doors. Adel's not allowed to in anywhere, it looks like. All right, fess up. He was leaving footprints on the side of my house. Somebody's leaving footprints on the side of your house. 
It looks like somebody can walk on walls. Oh, this is. What is that? What I get, Adel? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I can jump around the corner and get up there. Oh, that was good. Okay. A plain sight may fail. The mind's eye can serve to reveal the way ahead. Okay. I'm just... I'm just saying. Over here, sir. Can I help you find anything? Ride along, Pickard. Not gonna buy anything? Everything's a good choice. I could probably use the defense, but... Mm. Come again soon! How's it going? Always a pleasure. Our guest amulet. Time to come back soon! Why is this place so large? We have East 8 locations as well. The Fountain Plaza. It's Special beautiful. platform spotted in the city of Balduck. Okay, so we have all of East 8 systems on top of having whatever's in this game. First, I've seen you around. Are you a traveler? This here's a weapon shop, and fruit we're still sitting up. We'll be up and running soon. So just sit tight for now. Whoa, this is Baldic Central District. Look at all these people, Reno. You really are a bumpkin, aren't you? Just be careful setting up shop. We worry of thefts and such in the city. What the? Sorry. <laughs> oh, -ho, another curious spectator, huh? Well, you came at just the right time. Why? Because I, News Had Marie, have tugged my way straight to the truth. You ready? There's a reason Cardinal Lindhelm went missing. And here it is, Lindheim. Breaking news! Missing Cardinal Lindheim slaughtered by Feral Hawk! The Cardinal was attacked by the Hawk on his way to a visitation. Probably. Man, I'm good. My eye for the truth scares even me sometimes. Your eye for the truth. The truth there is defined by knowing facts and being able to back them up with sources or other materials. That is the definition of truth, generally. Over here, sir. Everything's a good choice. The Bistro Blanc. Not gonna buy anything? Have you heard? They said the white cat is out in the bat again today. She's the lady thief who burgles the rich, no matter how tight the security. Cool, right? All it and all goes towards helping the shanty town too. I mean, how can you not cheer her on? Come again soon. A shanty town. Hello there. You come to worship at the cathedral. Here. All are welcome regardless of standing. May the grace of the hieroglyphs be upon you. The hieroglyphs? Did the hieroglyphs have grace? Oh, I have apples now. I need to be popular, am I right? I don't know if I need to be popular, but I'm sure plenty of people feel like they need to be. Hello there. Are you a traveler? Welcome to Bald Baldic Cathedral. We're delighted to host our devoted worshippers today, as always. Mass is held both in the morning and the evening. Everyone is welcome. Furthermore, we are accepting alms from all our charitable worshippers. We accept many forms of alms. Anything helps, especially any surplus food items you may have. I'm yeah. happy to help. The church thanks you for your benevolence. Well, we welcome any kind of food. We only accept each type once. Please, only donate what you have to spare. Nothing more. I have to donate meals. This cathedral is a place ripe with history. Constructed around 500 years ago. In addition to the Grand Hall of Worship, it also contains a library for public use. Please, feel free to stay as long as you wish. Okay, old man. 
I mean, this cathedral is very big. It's a very big. I don't know if you guys need all this space, but you know. I mean, nuns do need to eat. This is very true. You know what? I got the money. I'll buy you guys some food. Can I help you find anything? Thank you, but wanna come again soon? I'll go get some food from the other place too. I'll donate and see what the game gives me. Only two places for food right now. This one and this one. Hey there. Looking for anything specific? Oh. Anything? Hope to see you again soon. I will donate to the to the the nun food. The needs for nun food. Thank you very much. Hmm. I hope you consider donating again when your circumstances allow. May the hearing list bestow fortune upon you. Hmm. This is. I just gave you two meals, lady. There's a viewpoint up there somewhere. Don't mind me. Just exploring. There's like a whole back alley back here. Interesting. Can I? A treasure chest. Here lieth the might of the hawk, soaring down in endless blue, leaving the most seasoned of soldiers tremble in thy wake. You sense a mysterious presence, and nothing really happens. Uh huh. I can't get up there yet, because I need some power to get up there. Oh, this is. Azure petal. Okay. <sighs> oh, Cardinal Lindheim. Just where could you have gone? It's been nearly a month since you went, first went missing. And the government general has been and the government general has been disarray ever since. What has to wonder if the garrison is even taking this in earnest? <sighs> Maybe they're not. Maybe they're glad he's gone. Maybe they're like he's finally out of our hair. <laughs> okay. So the game doesn't want me to go that way. It's like, you can't go this way, so no going this way. Oh. Chest. Black figs. Nice. My guess is as we progress with the completing the missions, we'll slowly but surely get access to a larger section of the area. They don't want us to be wandering the entire place though, so... Pendleton. Are they like the Pinkertons? A massive sign hangs above the doorway. This must be the Pendleton Company Dogie was talking about. We decide to head inside to see if they have any information on the prison. That is simply reprehensible. Uh huh. Uh, forgive me, sir. But, Mr. Reach, I made sure it was in the safe last night. Check it again. This has persisted for too long. I will not allow it to damage this company's reputation. I understand, sir. We would like to apologize to you too, Miss Krisha. Uh, me? You don't have to do that. I mean, not that you don't have to do anything. Just that 
You don't have to apologize. Damn right they're going to do something! <laughs> Krisha, you worked hard to secure these sales, did you not? For one so business-minded, you do not seem to grasp the gravity of the situation. Especially considering it concerns you directly. But those sales were my... What is Pendleton's strategy? Hmm? It's to overwhelm its competitors with sheer capital leverage. I presumed you understood this, Krisha. But it seems I was wrong. I'm sorry, sir. <sighs> Alas, I have a meeting with the man in charge of the Roman garrison now. You will assist me with checking the books later, so I expect you'll not be tardy. Yes, sir. I understand. Well, now I know she is surely the thief. Because she's surely stealing her own money. And giving it away because she's like, my dad's a dick. He's a dick. So I'm giving it all away. And by dick, I mean I hope he learns the value of something that isn't just money. Etc, etc. Probably. I'm sorry, Carla. Hmm? Keep it together. The Roman soldiers will be here soon. We should resolve this before they do. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I should have triple checked that it was stored securely. Hello. Hmm? Who are you? A dude. I have something to discuss um, with you. Do you know? Judging by your attire, I assume you're interested in taking post as a guard here. Ah. Uh. You'd be more than qualified if you can avoid being outwitted by a single measly thief. Sounds like you had something stolen. Yes, vile leeches, the lot of them. That is Pendleton's rightfully earned money. Krisha, Carla. <gasps> What can I do for you, Father? Oh, you're the one. An acquaintance of yours, Krisha? Not exactly. I bumped into him on my way here. You mustn't act so disorderly, Krisha. You'll never be a respectable member of the Pendleton Company like that. Uh, I'm sorry. In any case, speak to this man. Perhaps he may be of some use to us. And if not, compensate him and send him on his way. Krisha, I trust you'll handle this. Uh, of course, sir. Carla, ensure nothing goes wrong while I'm gone. I leave the business in your hands. I understand, Father. I bid you good luck. This way, please. We can continue our discussion in the back room. <laughs> Wait, you're looking for more information on Baldock Prison? So you're not here to find work then? Um, <clears throat> nope, just information. Oh, um, well. Baldock Prison is one of our most premier business partners here at Pendleton. So I'm afraid I, we can't just give away their information. We can't just give their information away to one we've only just met. What if you hired me then? I'm not really sure I can. I have to ask first. You're a lot bolder than I've taken you for at first glance. But Carla, that's as Krisha says. We can't hand information over like that. Like that over without reason. He does it may, however. Krisha, you're excused. Huh? But what about? I know what Father said. There's nothing to be gained from you being here right now. We better off helping out at the counter. Oh. Okay. I'll go do that then.
you don't have to chase her out. Now then, I'll be frank with you. You heard that our company earnings had been stolen, correct? Would you be interested in helping us uncover the culprit? What do you mean? I'm offering you a business proposal. I know the hidden passage that leads to the prison. Find our perpetrator, and it's yours. Hmm. Sounds too good to be true. Believe as you will. We at Pendleton make it a point to always fulfill our contracts. If anything, we should attest to just how preoccupied we are over this burglary. I'm not a single clue as to when or how they managed to break into our vault. And neither does anyone else, it seems. Even our father has all but given up. That is pretty odd. It certainly is. But the garrison and the knights have yet to make much progress in investigating. But I figure one who managed to escape Baldi Prison might prove more capable. Well, I call this a fair proposal as any. But it's you, Adel Kristen. He has the worst disguise ever. Let me color my hair. I'm not even gonna cut it. I'm just gonna wear a scarf. I'm gonna wear the exact same clothes I wore when I got here. And I'm not gonna hide my face at all. You know who I am. It's hard for anyone not to, even the uproar you've caused. I had an inkling you were him. It seems my hunch was correct. That said, I would have bothered with this proposal had I planned on turning you in. So you can rest easy. Mm. Fine. I accept your offer. We have a deal then. I appreciate your understanding. Let's get straight to business then. Your first order of business is to investigate the shanty town. Shanty town? That's right. The sector to the northeast. This was the subject of many a rumor lately. It seems its residents have been enjoying an odd an increase in prosperity as of late. Got it. I'll check it out. Glad to see your talk taking taken to this so quickly. I'd like you to set off as soon as possible. The shanty town is situated in this area. There are several routes through which you can reach it. But the western side is guarded by Roman soldiers, and preferably for you to be sure. You may want to try taking the underpass from the agricultural district. Nidra should be around here, and across from the river. Seldom used and mildly dangerous. That should be a problem for you. You can use the boat in the nearby pier to go to the other bank. Just report to me once you've discovered any substantial leads. Oh, and take this before you leave. A down payment of sorts. I imagine it'll come in handy for your investigation. Use the buying the equipment or medicine you need. And on that note... Those are medicinal ingredients. The clinic will know what to do with them. That'll be all. Look forward to hearing back from you, Adel. Be sure to visit the armory in the clinic before heading to the underpass. Hooray! There's a path that leads to the shanty town. Blah 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 blah. Don't mind me. Life made easy with Pendleton. How may I be of assistance? A warrior seal. A blood fang. Very well. Thank you for shopping with us. You noticed the little girl's gone. Where did she go, I wonder? Is the armor open now? Finally. He is, as a matter of fact. Oh, you're that guy from before. I'm just about finished getting my shop up and running. Got all sorts of arms and equipment here, so feel free to look around. 
We can also enhance your weapons for you if you'd like. Just bring me the right materials and I'll get you all squared away. Thanks, dude. Early bird gets the worm. <laughs> Can't wait to Thanks. try it out. Great. It's a Here perfect you still need something? Upon closer inspection, it's know your way around the sword. You hear a good knight. A Roman soldier, maybe. Your face tells me now. <laughs> We're well, no ordinary tourist, that's for sure. Alrighty then. That I am not. Don't worry about it. There's nothing to see here. Oh, you can teleport to these things. Nifty. Welcome. Oh, you just had the amulet. I don't need that. Adol, run faster. Your roll is faster than your run. Unfortunately. Please be more careful. Why is that glowing so blue? Welcome to Royal Clinic. You, perhaps, need a checkup, lad. I'm just here for some medicine. Medicine, you say? This is certainly the place for it. Though naturally, those who are actually sick take priority when it comes to prescriptions. We may be a clinic. This doesn't necessarily mean our stock is plentiful. That said, a proposal for a sprightly young lad like yourself. Bring me a bottle of the requisite, material requisite materials and bring whatever medicine you need for a nominal fee. What do you say? Sounds like we have a deal, then. Here, why do, you, why do I start you off with this? Looks nice and sterile. That it is. See, the spells look specially designed with this still use in mind. It's been especially treated Specially treated to resist bacterial growth. You can see you already have the ingredients for a heal potion on you right now. Let's see if we get that new bottle filled for you while you're here. By the way, carry a number of other solid medications here as well. Feel free to give them a look. Hooray! So good of you. Even minor scratches should be tended to. It's all. Can I assist you with anything else? You must take better care of yourself. That should just about do it for preparations. Should probably head over to the agricultural district Carla mentioned. Mm hmm. So it should be. this way. I retired, sent her to help out with my wife's farm. It's just been me and my son now, ever since she passed of old age. It's not the most exciting lifestyle. Nothing beats these peaceful days. Alright, everybody ready? Let's get started. Yay, I'm ready. Ellie, you do the water. That's the only thing you do anyways. The next I will plant the seeds and lay the fertilizer. At least me in charge of loading. Thanks for always helping out, Felix. It's my day off, so I don't mind at all. Now, what do you say we finish this before Yuba gets home and surprise her? Okay. <laughs> Who are you, young man? <laughs> that is such yes, a good hearted individual. My potatoes. They belong to me now, forever and ever. At least until I eat them. <laughs> Next up is to 
roams those fields over there. Life's not been easy since becoming a Roman territory, especially with taxes on the rise. I can gripe and groan all day if I want. Still gotta weather the storm out either way. Ain't that the truth, sister? A treasure chest. Okay. The words are too faded for you to make out at the moment. Are they going to become less faded? The gold stained glow of the cresting dawn, the songbirds chirps, the walking the waking trees, the Grand Lore River maje River's majestic gleam. Truly is our world the brim with delight. Well goodness me, you really got out of your way to come out this far out. Sorry to say we don't have much the view of a view to speak of over here. We got plenty of produce if you fancy buying some. Freshly picked too. Every one of our crops is bathed in sun and burst into flavor. You have my word on that. Welcome. Take as long as you need. Huh. Thanks for your business. More things on your comeback soon, you hear? The water is dangerous. It apparently just falls straight in. Did I activate this already? I did. Start a game. Why is his roll faster than his run? Makes me sad when the roll is faster than running. Because then I'm like, I have to roll. It is the most efficient thing to do. Roll everywhere. Don't stop rolling. It is the only way. Yes, go. Love these pedals. Don't know what they do. I'm going to assume that's everything here for now. This is a lot of East game without any combat except for the very first section. The entrance to the underpass appears to be on the other side, just as Carla said. You said to use a small boat to cross, but it seems occupied at the moment. Hmm. If you could use your gift as a monstrum instead. Oh, your magnificence, your majesty, the king of our beloved land of Glia. Then a day passes where I do not pray for the eternal prosperity of your glorious reign. So nobody noticed Adel, um, using Magic Doom. Hmm. It's just like the barrier you ran into the main gates of the city. we will be able to move ahead with, with this in the way. Huh? What are you doing here, Crimson King? Oh, let me guess. Barriers blocking your way. Those things make it pretty tough to get around the city when you're starting out. These gifts are handy and all, but sheesh, at what cost, am I right? So, how do I get through then? Or did all the monsters have to deal with this? Yep, it was the same for me as it w is for you. If you want in, try searching around the agricultural district to start. I'd hang back to help and all, but I've got some business, business to take care of. Besides, gotta concern my strength for those Noxes. I feel like we have a choice in them. Catch you later! There appears to be some sort of condition for passing the barriers in the city. We have no other choice but to explore the agricultural district, as White Cat suggested.
Great. There are special magical conditions to things, because of course there are. Oh, I can double jump now, though. That's nice. Well... Oh, this is... in the city. We call these creatures Lanaries. Good day, Crimson King. Why isn't anybody panicking? It seems we're the only ones who can see them. You needn't mm -hmm. worry, though. The monsters cannot hurt them. But supposedly... They have the capability of calling forth the Grimwald Knox. Let us deal with them now before the situation escalates. Hmm, you have a hand knife. Ah, uh, yes. One of my favorite abilities. Well, that was easy. It'll learn a new skill during battle. I already equipped it. Yes, I know. It's already their game. I regret to inform you that we cannot stop here. Wonderful. That ship has already left the port, as it were. I'll assist you in eliminating the rest. Great. Wonderful. Well. I am going to change to Warrior Seal then. Because why not? A fine job, Crimson King. Perhaps a short break is in order. Sound... Ah, uh, sounds good to me. There's a relief tile nearby. Sending a punch should heal you immediately. In the event, let us take care of the rest once you regain your strength. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. This one may prove difficult. Crimson King. Wasting your power all at once should make quick work of them. Oh, I died. Okay. Boost in combat, charge the boost gauge, then use it. Huh? It says to hold them both in order to boost. Oh. 
This is probably why. Going to transform back doll. You're really a sight to see in battle. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say. I, as you can see, my body, like my name, is that of a doll. It seems my circumstances differ slightly from everyone else's. The other monsters were quite bewildered when I spoke of this to them. Oh, <coughs> you, however. We appear to be taking this rather calmly, Crimson King. Well, I've seen a fair share <laughs> in my life. I see. That would explain it. You're quite an intriguing individual yourself. Like draws like, it would seem. Is that one of those lemurs, too? No, that is a miasma vortex. And then she went into the Grimwald Nox. So we can just come and go, just like that. That is correct. There are several methods of entering the Grimwald Nox. One such method is being summoned by force as we were before. Another involves finding an entrance and infiltrating that at will. Miasma vortices are the gateways through which we can do so. But perhaps a more practical approach would better serve in lieu of further explanation. Try entering the vortex yourself, Crimson King. Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Residual enmity lingers in the air here. You shouldn't just leave this me. Tranquil underpass. Challenge. Great. Let's go. Grimvod Nox. Huh? What gives? I'm just having a drink too. Which one of you did this? You already find the entrance, Crimson King? That was fast. Well, we're all in the same boat. Might as well help out. Let's just get this over with. Death time. So you always have everybody with you every time you do one of these, it looks like. That's kind of nifty. Agricultural district. Grimwald Nox. Okay. Protect the crystal, kill the things, as always. Are you ready, Crimson King? We just need to protect this pillar, right? Yes, I should know you'd be a quick learner. It'll be just as you did before. The Sphine must be intact by the Grimwald Nox to end. I will focus on channeling power to the Sphine in order to end this Nox. Until I do your duties to safeguard it. So why do we need to protect the Sphine? Before the Sphine is imbued with power, it is no more than a mere pillar. The Sphine extracts enmity from the Nox. That is why the Lemures are drawn to it. Will it fail if the Sphine is destroyed before it is filled with power? If it isn't... It'll be our victory. It's quite simple. Easy for you to say. Making a scrunt to all the heavy lifting as usual. We just have to keep the leaners away from the scene, right? Sounds simple enough. Let's get this, get this show on the road. Monsters. The time is nigh. Stand ready. Lay waste to the malevolent as the night As the sentinel between the dark and light, I approach. 
She is very dramatic. Overly dramatic, one might say. Sieges. Okay. Uh-huh. Great. Wonderful. I still die really fast because lunatic mode is god awful. Okay, let's go. Wow. <laughs> I hate how the auto text is tied to a button on your thing. I wish it was just a configuration. Only a boost, though, not an extra skill, apparently. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Works exactly like the things in Esam. Esam. Too bad. Final wave, let's go. That was a lot easier than the last boss. Like, kind of stupidly easy by comparison.
Impressive. Yup. Clear time, two minutes. I think I should have done really well there. <laughs> That's I'd right. No less from all of you. You successfully returned. Crimson King, please look closely at what is about to occur. The barrier just Genesis. vanished. Understand then. Barriers like these restrict our movements throughout the city. The manifesting thin knocks. We remove them one by one. These Mayama vortices that manifest the Nox appear after fulfilling certain objectives. Defeating the Linears is one such objective, though undoubtedly not the only one. My apologies. It was nearly time for me to depart. If you will excuse me, we'll meet again when next the Grimwald Nox appears. Okay then. Well, I guess we'll go inside. The underground path should lead from the agricultural district to the shanty town. Should be unused for the most part. The traces on the ground indicate otherwise. Best not to let your garden as you make your way through. Let's take a break. Something there. Silver chest. Okay, so they use the different colors of chests like they do in the other games to signify different levels of items. Good to know. Aromatic lumber. I think most lumber is kind of aromatic.
<laughs> Something's there. Oh, there's three of these guys in this room, okay. Healing point. And what's down here? A boss, probably. Watch guard time. Okay, stop to jump. That's a summon leeches. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so he's kind of a dick. You're going to spawn. Oh, I just charged through them and they instantly killed me. Okay, that's that's terrible. What's he gonna do? He's gonna keep summoning things. Up over here. No? There's so many enemies. Flash got that. I mean, landed. It's much easier just to flash guard him. And then. Give me the ultimate, buddy. Can ya... Can ya not just keep flying around like a bum? Okay, so he doesn't stop. That is something he can do. Okay. 
Okay. Kills the bub. A few flash guards and we're good. Yeah. It's nice beating a boss without getting hit. Something's there. That there is, but first we're gonna open up this way. Time. Now I can teleport everywhere. Interesting. So a good question then is now that I can kind of teleport everywhere. Can I reach areas I couldn't before. Yes. The game will actually let me reach them, which is the important part. Meow. Hi. Yes! Got one! There are a lot of these petals oh, just scattered Jesus. around. Makes me think that these are some kind of weird collection item that you need to gather in the meantime. What are you doing on top of this house? Whew, finally! That's one chimney down! Holy mother of a oh, monster! My mother we're having! Oh, yeah! I was thinking the same! You know, I'm not nicer than people make you out to be. Pretty much always up cleaning chimneys. So if we were to stay after on for if our roofs cross again. If our roofs cross again. Child, can you come up with better You know what, I'm not gonna Here they come. Hmm. Does it always... No. Interesting. Okay, so... The game definitely has a... Certain things that you're allowed to get and other things you're not. Interesting. Here they come! Was it was this day here before? I don't remember this one being here. Uh, hey, dude. Um, yeah, 
fucking Arca has appeared. Want to be an Arca? Interesting. You know, for being on the guard against all these monsters existing, the guards really aren't paying that much attention, to be really honest here. They're just kind of like... This is... Well, I guess you're around. <laughs> guess they're around somewhere. Oh, there's the graffiti I couldn't get before. Dulgar, you can take her a slout. Let those monsters go already. guys constantly falling off of things. I mean, they are just constantly falling off of things. It's kind of crazy to think about. There's a... I think there was a monster point down here. No. But I can apparently fall in the water still. Okay, up top we go. I saved. It's not gonna. It's not gonna keep it though. A little weird that it doesn't just keep your save. But they don't just, you know, embrace the fact that you, uh. Or are these all random? Yes! Interesting. It feels like a lot of these are just random. Like they spawn randomly at different places just because. Hmm. Here they come. I get on top of the cathedral somehow. What is this, kitty cat? Oh. 
we go. I haven't got over here at all. I wonder if this unlocked because I beat the one barrier back. I don't think I could go over here before. Could be wrong, I guess. A treasure chest. More potatoes. I really don't need potatoes. Yes. Go. Let's take them out. I died again. Am I still at the same place? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So wait, why is this one red versus the other one? I didn't see the other one behind him. It'd be nice if it didn't always automatically go back to this point and just went back to your last save. But it doesn't, so that's interesting. So, okay. There are red ones and there are... not red ones. Which is interesting. But they're still not, um... They're not fixed in place. So they change their locations whenever you respawn. It's still kind of interesting that the game changes the locations of... What you would think would just be... a fixed portal finger. What I would think would just be a fixed portal finger, but apparently not. Hmm. A treasure chest. Yes, got one. I'm assuming these azure petals are needed for something later. Like you'll actually need them for an item or some kind of quest or something. Given they seem to be scattered around town, yes, but they're in always in fixed locations. They are not random. Yes, got one. Given they are not random, makes more sense for them to not. Not have the same. Oh, they're playing monstrums. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's take them out. Just the two in there. Okay, so they're random, which gives you random monsters, essentially. So they essentially are just serving as random monster encounters. So you have something to fight. Let's take them out. When you don't have anything better to do. So if you go far enough away. Oh, 
Okay, well. Interesting. Quite a far jump, though, so that's nice. What else do we get around here before I go back to story stuff? One thing I'm thinking of for this game, given that we're already... The way the game's structured and everything else is I think what we're going to do is instead of focusing on doing all the side content while I'm playing the game, which is normally what I would do, I think what I'm instead going to do is I'm going to focus on mostly just doing the story while I'm playing the game normally. And then... Here they come. Okay, so the red ones contribute to your Nox meter. Let's take them All the other ones don't. Feels like there should be something down here. Definitely feels like there should be something down here now. Just looking at the way this is set up. Nothing, dear, nothing. Hey, you know what's it? Okay, and they look like they just respawn after a certain amount of time. So yeah, these are just random monster... You can hunt these, is what these are for. As far as I can tell. That seems to be the primary idea behind them. Treat them like random monsters you can hunt. go from there. Nothing wrong with that. Just one of those things where trying to understand the what the game wants chest. you to do. How does the game want you to view its systems? What does it want you to do with them? Oh. We just fell off there. That's fine. The only reason why I'd want to be up here. Don't see anything immediately. Okay. We'll go back here. And I'll be right back. I gotta go see what's going on with Puppy.
on, let's go! Let's go! No need to rush. Come on, let's go! Oh, I missed all the idols and doggies being thrown at me. That's okay. Now we're in Shanty Town. Managed to arrive safely in the Shanty Town. According to Carla, residents have been enjoying an increase in prosperity as of late. Asking around should be a good place to start. If they'll listen to you, they may be like. Or you. We don't trust outsiders here. Yes! Got one! Trying to rain on our parade, outsider. Go away. I mean, that's what I'd do. I'd be like, Who do you think you are? Okay, so that graffiti is up there. Yes! Got one! <sighs> Why does he born in Glean? Gleans are taxed more than the Romans. You know that. Always hated working. For wages I do earn barely amounts to anything. Man, do I even bother putting any effort at this point? I can feel that. <laughs> It does seem pretty, uh, unfair. <gasps> now to fetch some water and carry it back up. 
Shanty Town is built upon two levels. Why the strange side choice, you ask? You see, this is where we lost everything in the war. Where those who lost everything in the war gathered afterward. We had to make do if we hoped to build enough space. Places for people to live and survive. Oh dear, you have to excuse me. I didn't mean to get away from myself there. I mean, it makes sense. Curse upon whoever reads this. A jinx, a hex, a pox, a plague! Ooh, oh god! Really now? That's why I asked, was that necessary? People just have to write down a curse, a curse in this place, and people get cursed. Great, wonderful. A treasure chest. Okay. All right. Well, we've kind of seen all of Shanty Town now. Oh, what's in here? Oh. Let's not go that way yet. Yes! Got one! Oh, hello, Thinger. Are you a traveler? Never seen any in these parts. <laughs> Lost, actually. Oh, I figured as much. This city is held out into the very end, back when Rom invaded Glia. When the war ended, those who revolted in hopes of autonomy were swiftly quelled. Glia just sided with Rom, like the Pendletons, started cropping up not too long after. It was then that the wealth gap between us, Glia, slowly became more of a chasm. The poor and needy flocked together, and now living here is no longer a choice for us. How do you feel about Rom? Terribly. Like every other self-respecting Glean does. There's no changing that. I'm sure they know. Why else would they bring in the hearing of knights to mediate? That said, it was the Pendleton Company who collaborated with Rom after, after the war. So are the opinion that it's thanks to, the Bal to them Baltic was able to retain its rights. The situation gets a bit more complex if you take, into it, take that into account. Interesting. So you realize that it's not a... It's not simple. Feel any better, Grand Grand? Oh yes, dearie, much better. Thank you for asking. Not thank me. You just sit with the white cat. Hmm, I suppose you're right. A white cat, you say? The soil and water have become polluted due to the prison mines. Countless others have fallen ill from it the same way I have. We're lucky though I kept generosity arrived when it did. Thanks to her, Grand was able to buy the medicine she needed to get better. That's the stupid Roman spot that even happened at all. The Pendletons too. It's always us little people who get screwed over in the end. Perhaps. Those of us in the shanty town share some responsibility too. I'm grateful the White Cat is aiding those of us in need, of course. We'll never learn to help ourselves out if we let someone else coddle us through. Oh, what are you talking about? The White Cat's doing us good here, no matter how you slice it. I mean, very true, but you should listen to your grandmother, young man. Hey, what do you need? I'll take your baked potato. Thanks, need something else? Make sure you pay up. No pay, no Come exit. Again. 
I used to work as a ferryman, paddling boats back and forth for chump change. Now that I'm loaded, guess that lonely job goodbye. Ha ha, three cheers for the white cat. Okay, you want a pint? Someone's in a good mood. Oh, you think? Why else would I be drinking this much? Came all this way to work at the Pendleton Company Mines. But get this, they only use prisoners there. And why not? All that hard work were cheap. So there I was, cast out on the street, when suddenly, this girl throws me some coin. What girl exactly? This dame looks like a cat or some such. Tossed me gold like we're nothing. And every last bit it was went to my two bestest buds. Booze and gambling, ha ha ha. I wonder if she's planning on swinging by with some more of that good coin again. Somebody is very well intentioned. May not realize that her uh, good intentions are being squandered. You're awesome, White Cat! You're Balduk's savior! We can't thank you enough! Thanks for your patience, everyone! Whoa! Awesome! You've all suffered under the oppression of the Roman Empire and the pollution from the mines. It's high time someone recognized that you all deserve more! Good fortune to everyone! Look! Gold coins! I'm go gonna be rich! The citizens were overjoyed with the gold that the White Cat had given them. The spontaneous optimism in the neighborhood persisted long after her visit. Once the Roman soldiers learned of it, they marched into the shanty town. Foreseeing this, the White Cat advised the citizens to return to their normal lives. Having witnessed the entire ordeal, they decided to return to Carla. I see. So their newfound wealth was the work of one of those troublemaking monstrums. The white cat, no less. What if they were guessed? You said she was tossing out gold coins, correct? It's only a thought, but... You think they're Pendletons? I can't say for sure just yet. Nevertheless, I'm worried that the miners have caused the shanty town a good deal of injury. Justified or not, the white cat appears to be genuinely trying to sustain its residents. Perhaps her trident is that of a shantytown resident herself. Either that or someone well in the know about its circumstances. It was about three months ago when the first batch of gold went missing. The very same time that the company went to inspect the shantytown's damages. But the only ones who'd gone there were Father and I, two members of our staff, and... I could have sworn I'd close that door. Mm-hmm. My father updated me on the situation. The garrison is sure to take action soon. That said, that sound at the door piqued my interest. It seems nobody was there. Perhaps I was mistaken. Oh, there was somebody there. It was the kitty. The kitty who is your sister. Aha! Spot by carrying away. She may have heard everything just now. You have to give chase. Do I? Come on. I already know who you are, dear. Give up the chase. Huh? Crimson King? 
Have you been following me? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, you can run up walls. Yeah. God, you run fast here. I knew it. Oh, oh no, no, no. I'm not the right. This can't be happening. So it really was you. How, how did you know that it was me? Mm. You're at all. You heard what Carla said, didn't you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. I used the White Cat's power to steal from Pendleton's safe. They never suspect you. I once went to the shanty town with everyone in the company. There, I met many people. Children, the elderly, who were ill because of the mines. I realized Pendleton was to blame for more of their suffering than I had thought. I knew that I had to do something. That was when I met her, Aprilis. I decided then that I'd use the money that I made to help these people. Hmm. Are you satisfied with your methods? No, I'm not. That's why I want to make things right. When I first started, I thought everyone was happy. When there was gold, they were thankful. And they still are. But lately... <laughs> Never going back to that stupid job ever again. Yeah, the old lady ain't getting nothing. It's going towards the booze and gambling fund. After today, I ain't got a single coin left myself, let alone for the missus. You're a real halfwit, you know that? What? Next time, I'll double what I've lost. Just have to send the wife a coin or two to shut her up. <laughs> oh, would it kill the white cat to quit being such a cheapskate and cough up more coins? You can say that again. Who else is gonna fund my retirement? <laughs> <laughs> a little on the nose there, game, but... Point standing. The terrible attitude. Well, can't be helped. So what do you do now? Well, I understand that things can't continue as they are. I, I'm not doing this because I hate the Pendleton Company. I do feel that our methods can be too aggressive. And we sometimes prioritize profits way too much. Mm. But Pendleton has also been working with the Romans to help preserve the rights of the Gleans. The company has always worked in the interest of Balduk. I may not seem like it, but I am a daughter of the Pendleton family. I'll try talking to my father and my sister.
So the white cat was the culprit after all. I believe I understand the situation in its entirety now. That said, why exactly are you here for this, Prisha? Oh, well, you see, Carla, the white cat, she's, um... Actually, I think I've already heard quite enough about this white cat. Huh? It's clear that she cares for the people of the shanty town. She wanted to help them. I can never blame her for that. In the end, her crooked methods only led those residents down a crooked path. Oh. Neek as her powers may be. It would seem her view of the world is yet callow and naive. I can only wonder how she plans to take responsibility after all she's done. There's no need to involve our father with this. He's a busy enough man as is. Adel, should you see the white cat again? Deliver her this message on my, on my behalf. Next time, might go on deceiving yourself. Instead, forge your own path, step by step. Excuse me, please! Hmm... How long have you known? Not long at all, actually. I still put two and two together based on your reports. Now then, Adel. I believe I owe you due compensation. Nagging on our agreement would be a stain on the Pindle's name, after all. Show me your map of the city. Not mark your passage into the prison. Balduk's waste is carried outside the city by an ancient waterway that runs beneath it. The underground waterway is called Cloica Maxima. One of its branches connects directly to the prison. Its entrance should be around here. Right near the shantytown you were just investigating. Hmm. Where in the prison does it connect? I don't know the specifics, but I've heard it leads to one of the solitary cell blocks. As for what you plan to do in there, I respect your confidentiality. What about Krisha? This is the opportunity she's always needed. Whatever change she makes starts with her. With that, our mutual arrangement has concluded. The first of many, no doubt. From what I know of your history, I suspect your hardship will only grow from here on. We wish you all the best. Come by and visit whenever you like. This was an excellent opportunity for the White Cat. At any rate, the prison could be access to the Cloaca Maxima. Good luck. You're always welcome here. Ah, oh, very nice. Wonder. Can I get up here? Up here. Oh, I almost reached it. Gosh darn it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get up there. I want to get up there really quick before we end for the day. Okay. That is technically closer, but. I did it, yes. Okay. I do not know if I can get up there, though. That might be a completely different can of worms. Okay, so there's a gold chest right there. We 
can at least get this chest. I don't know if I can get the... A treasure chest. Warlord Elixir. I wonder what that does. Let me go back up there and see, make sure that the, uh, the other viewpoint's not right there. potential vantage point thing here. It's probably on the very top, though. Watch where you're going. I'm gonna go back up there one more time. Just for curiosity's sake to see if I can figure out where that vantage point is over there. Seems like there should be a vantage point anyway. Maybe I am miss... Thinking about things. It must have just a herd of capitalist swine. Money, money, money is all they care about. Hmm, okay. That might be true. like their money that one cannot disagree with it seems like there's supposed to be something here but I can't quite see it because of the other limitations of where I can go right now oh this is a treasure chest Alright, this is this one that you can't do anything with. I'm gonna guess you can't do anything with that until you, um... What do you call it? Until you, um... Recruit a hawk. If I had to guess. That would make sense to me. That there's certain ones of these they require you to recruit. Certain ones of the other monstrums in order to... Get access to whatever it is they have. I don't mean to do left, I meant to do this. Okay. Classical East sounds. Here they come. knocks there. I guess I have a question. I wonder if you get enough knocks for another incursion, whatever they call it. Another one of these things that, um... Is there a point to doing that early? Or do you just not worry about that for the Oh, hi. A treasure chest. Nice, okay. 
So that was really nifty, actually. So I can just get that. But yeah, I'm kind of wondering... Maybe that's how I'll wrap up the day, is I'll see if I can trigger another incursion -y thing by fighting some of these rifts and see if anything interesting happens. Like, every little bit increases the Nox gauge. A very tiny bit. But it doesn't really let you know... Mm. I don't know if there's a point to any of this. Give you life elixirs doing this. That seems like I mean, okay, a bit much isn't the word I want to use, but at the same time, it kind of is, because that's like okay, let me give you an item that literally just makes you permanently stronger. That makes me think that it has to not be random, that there has to be like a um, some kind of loose at least um way that the bonuses work. What did that warlord... What's the warlord thing do? The warlord thing... Oh, it increases SP. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grind enough to do this in one sitting. Oh! I could not <laughs> use Flash Guard again. I was trying to. That's interesting, though. Because, yeah, what I was doing is I was looking through here like this and being like, okay. Well, I think that's going to do it for today. I'm going to try exploring, see what happens when you get another Nox event on my own. And, uh, yeah, probably go from there. Anyhow, it's been a lot of fun playing this. It's going to take me a while to wrap my head around all the other systems, how the game's going to go, where the story's going. But I like the character designs, and the general gameplay's pretty good, so we'll see. Anyhow, until next time, everyone, it's been a lot of fun, and, uh, yeah. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>